Welcome Virgo. Okay, so we're going to look at what is going on for you over the next two weeks and um, see if we can help you along this journey at this time. We are using the Sacred Light Oracle deck and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Virgo, I'm Juanita and let's get going. Okay, let's move these out the way here. So give these a quick shuffle. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Sorry, get myself organized here. <laughs> Ready, let's get started. First card up is Angelic Rounds. Okay, I feel like Virgo, this is about you needing to tap into the Angelic Rounds. Okay, something about, yeah, I feel like the Angelic Rounds can help you. Okay, I feel like there's this need to work with the angelic realms as a team. This could be for some of you um, that there are other people around you who you could work as a team with. Um, there's this sense of wanting to go full steam ahead, right, for some of you. Like you just want to take the bulls by the horn and like the bull by the horn, not the bulls by the horn, sorry, that came out totally wrong, but anyway, you know what I mean, Virgo, um, and it's like you want to um, not, co not consider anyone else, I don't know if that's the right way of putting it, but it's like you don't want to wait for anyone else, kind of like, let's just go already, and it's as though, it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit like, going on a trip right and you're you're like okay this is what we're doing this is where we're going let's go and the other person hasn't even had a chance to pack their bags and um and I kind of feel like that that's that's the energy that I'm getting anyway um and you know I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that Virgo all I'm saying is consider other people around you okay because yeah see like this oh wow um this is something that you're on you're on fire about you are totally ready to this is the creator by the way sorry i'm getting all excited here um it's like you are passionate about what it is that you want to go towards because this is like this this whole new beginning right um Mm. it's a new beginning but there had to have been an ending in order for the new to beginning to have to, act, to happen and I feel like maybe you're wanting to go forth so quickly that there's not really things aren't getting closed properly if you like mm, that's interesting that that's come up um anyhow um yeah, because because this is something that you've created and this is your passion, not everyone may be as passionate about it, Virgo, as what you are, okay? This silence card here, coming in here, um, into this silence, right, and quietening your mind just to, because there is this energy of like just going full steam ahead, man, like, um, like a bull in a china shop glad I said that right <laughs> okay so we are the world see yeah this is this is I, I feel like what this is saying is considering everybody okay so that everyone can come together and be on the same page with whatever it is that is going on okay because not everyone can gather around the world like this if one person is out ahead of them right, it has to be this team effort, Virgo, okay, we have Ascension Flame next, I feel like whatever is going on is going to benefit everybody involved and help their growth, and, and potentially Virgo, that's why you are so um, keen and um, impatient, I want to say, impatient for this new beginning. You could have been waiting for this for ages, you know, and finally you can see it coming. Um, yeah, I feel as though this, 
because this guy quietening his mind here is the same as you know he's doing this that he's going into the silence and even though there's growth that can happen right it is still keeping yourself centered and keeping yourself grounded so that you can clearly um you can lead the way with everything taken into consideration sorry about that virgo there was someone at the door okay so yeah so the other thing about coming into this space here of quietening your mind is um is to keep your expectations in check okay um for some of you virgo it could be a matter of letting go of all expectations because it's as though um i'm kind of feeling like for some of you expectations may very well limit you you could go further without expectations but it's like it's kind of like you have this finish line and you're not open which is not opening you up to going further it's yeah it's like you have a destination but you could go, go further sorry goodness me it's all on all on today um, we've got maturity come up here and um, yeah this is something that you can grow into something absolutely amazing patience Virgo patience okay because while it can grow into something amazing it will take time a little bit like ascension right that growth takes time and you can see here this person with this these patterns on his face I feel like that's significant somehow sometimes I look at it and I think it's the world and I see that and then it goes away but it's like it's like there's something ancient about this person and those things take time so I think Practicing patience, for sure, is going to help along this journey. And going within and keeping your eye on, on um, you know, like keeping the core of what it is that you want to achieve within you and holding on to that, like using that as that flame to be your guide. Um, definitely something ancient here. What is that about? Because we've got maturity and I'm seeing in this card here the um, Sphinx. Is it a Sphinx? I think it is. Um, what is this? Control. Okay, letting... Okay, so um, allowing other people to come in with their ideas and taking those on board because you have a vision of what you want it to look like and um, and that's keeping you in this regimented um, process and you you need to open yourself up, Virgo, to other ideas and other people coming in because this may cause this... Um, direction and what you which you're heading to expand a lot wider not just further but wider and potentially a bit more rapidly than what you think there's I feel like Virgo there's not everything has been considered because there's just this right this is where we're going and let's go um and there are other people who you can um bring in to or, or listen to to be part of that team okay um yeah i kind of wonder if there's a bit of fear of of sharing your vision or sharing your your project or your direction maybe not sure on that this could be also Virgo really keep your ego in check and what it is is going on there okay um 
if you feel like you want to hold on to something uh, and don't want to share it with people, really tap into why that is. I'm seeing this eye here, and this face here looks to me partially like this face here, which is super interesting. Um, yeah. Okay, Archangel Michael. This guy here, he's going to help you. He is going to call on Archangel Michael, okay? Um, by by kind of going within and letting go of the control, this is going to help you to see signs and synchronicities, see which direction to take, which path to take. Um, you know, especially at times where there's a little bit of a crossroads because I feel like that will come up for you. Um, decision making, all those sorts of things to really go within, okay? And and share the load, Virgo. It's, it doesn't all have to be on you. And I feel like at, at some point during the journey, it could feel absolutely quite... Um, quite a burden and if you've got trusted people around you to help you carry the load that's going to be a lot easier for you to continue to carry on in a clear direction okay past lives see this is this ancient thing again this could be something this could be a gift that you had in the past life There's some kind of past life connection here. What is it? Very, very um, cryptic, Virgo. What is going on here? Tell me more. Tapping in to your higher self. Tapping in. There's been some time that you have travelled alone, Virgo, and you have made some progress, and you've led your own way. So this could be something that is very difficult to you for you to bring other people on board. It could be this could be something from a past life that you have found it hard to do it's kind of like you're used to traveling the road alone um but ultimately i feel like there is some connection here what am i not getting here because we've got these people all these people here like these are, to me are all your past lives okay what you have lived in your past life aha uh -huh. Okay, so tapping in to your inner being, okay, tapping into your higher self is going to reveal to you um, certain gifts and certain attributes that you have had in past lives that you will be able to bring forth into this life to help you on this journey. Ah, Got there in the end. Hey Virgo. Okay, so next card we have is Celestial Channel. Okay, so <sighs> there's something here that I'm seeing some books in the background here. This is really tapping into, um, okay, so this is channeling this information that you need. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this control would stop this connection being made. Okay, and I would ask Archangel Michael for assistance to dissolve that need for control for you, Virgo. Okay, um, because it's like you have this amazing um, path ahead of you, but there's this still coming back to this control, because every time I think, what's this? If this card pops in my mind, it just is right in my face. Um, yeah, and I feel like letting go of the control is the key for you to... 
to get to where it is you want to go, okay? Um, where are we? Sorry. Tapping in to this ascension flame, right? This flame, it's almost as though, Virgo, you need to visualize yourself soaking in this flame in order to take yourself back to a neutral state of being, okay? Because, and I want you to remember that every single time you can feel yourself uh, with that desire to take control of everything, um, that you just quieten down and soak yourself with this ascension flame. You see this ascension flame here? This is what I feel like you need to um, envelop your energy with okay um and that will definitely help you um to show yourself you know to to have it revealed to you what um what it is that you can bring forth from your past lives that tapping into that inner that higher self right compromise okay so this is working with other people again very interesting not being stubborn, Virgo, letting go of the stubbornness, okay, and even if that stubbornness is purely with yourself in your own mind, okay, understanding, wow, wow, okay, um, compromise and understanding, <sighs> Yeah, letting go of that control will enable you to be able to compromise, to allow your, not, not just other people, but also yourself to step out of this um, cage of control that has either you've put around you or other people have put around you. I can't entirely say it's all you, Virgo, um, but there is this energy of control around you, okay? Um, and I want you to see and have the understand. you know, this is about nurturing yourself and loving yourself and having the understanding that you, in fact, can fly free and, and letting other people fly free too. Okay, Tibetan fire serpent. Okay, wow, this is like, check out that energy there. This is super interesting. What am I getting from this now? Authority, discernment, a better path. Yeah, see, if this is someone else around you, um, this is using, you know, what people are telling you you should do and you shouldn't do, um, taking that, anything, you know, that anyone is saying to you, be discerning about that, yeah, um, not letting anyone have that authority over you as much as you possibly can, okay, and on the flip side of that, being aware of how you may do that to others around you, okay, again, I just keep coming back to this, right, coming back to this, bringing other people into the picture, considering other people and going into the silence, whichever is um, the case for you, Virgo, keep coming back to that, okay, keep soaking, soaking yourself in the flame of ascension, sorry, my hair is like all over the shop here, I'm just like completely into this energy right now, <laughs> okay, intensity, yeah, this is an intense energy, 100% it is, um, you know, there's a better path, and I, this again is like this, I want to go, 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 you know, and um, I feel like by having other people work with you is going to combine things to make, you know, it's kind of like Virgo seeing this path and seeing, okay, there's um, yellow and there's red here, or pink, it looks like pink to me, um, and, and, and it's kind of like just seeing it as that and not understanding that when you combine those two together, you make orange, and so I feel as though, because this card here, we've got this one person standing here, right, above all else, taking control, taking the lead, okay, you've got these two here, you've got these two here, and you've even got these two angels up here. Okay, so this is really rising above and not um, 
like letting go of this need to be the leader of the pack, okay, and allowing angelic assistance to come in and guide you. Letting go of that control, surrendering to that, okay. Violet fire, whoa, wow, check that out. Transmuting energies that are not working for you, okay, um, really looking at certain things in your life that are no longer serving you and seeing how it is that you can let go of things, um, what modalities that can be used for you to be, it's kind of like, because I'm looking at this paint on this person's face, it's like being at war with yourself in a sense because I'm looking at these two too. Oh, goodness. Um, and um, it's like you've been at war though and you've got fresh, fresh wounds. Part of you doesn't want to see what's gone on. Part of you doesn't maybe want this new beginning and it might be that, okay, well, if that's going to be over then, let's just go. Like, you know, yeah, because oh, look what we have here, healing. Yeah, you need to take some time to heal um, because you want to get to this result of being fully healed without really going through that journey of doing that healing. Um, and so it is a matter of... No one wants to feel, you know, down and out. Not at all. We all want that to be done and dusted, that we have to do the work behind it, okay? Um, not using distractions to um, keep us from doing the work that needs to be done, okay? So, again, looking at habits in your life that are distracting you, whether it's gaming, whether it's alcohol, whether it's, you know, on your phone, um, what are the distractions that are keeping you from looking at yourself, Virgo? Looking at yourself and being honest with yourself, yeah? Looking at yourself and being honest um, about the parts of you that you don't want to see and that you don't want to be shown, okay? Postponement. Take time. Take the time, Virgo, to paint to colour in this part of your world because this is where you want to be and it's you're rushing. This is what this, hurry up, let's go, let's go. You're not actually allowing the part of yourself that needs to be healed to catch up with you. And if you don't do that, Virgo, you're going, it's going to hit you in the face at some point along your journey. It's going to come up and you won't have any choice but to see it and it's going to hold you up, you know. So yeah, yep. Soul family, asking for support, getting people to support you, you know. I feel like this is your energy, Virgo, okay. And there was all these people here behind you quite willing to help you, but you're like, nah, I'm fine. I don't need that. I'm not going to be dealing with that rubbish. <laughs> um, you know, uh, it could be that there are, uh, and, and these people, like, I just actually am, like, taking note of their face, faces right now. Always, when I've seen this card, I've always thought they were quite serious, but they're not. You know, they're blowing, like, kisses. It's like they're blowing kisses and wanting to have some fun with you. And here's this person standing at the front, feeling like all the world's on their shoulders and they're alone. But you're not alone. Okay, so it is a matter of opening your heart and letting that vibrate out. But uh, some of you feel so vulnerable that you can't do that. Um, but in order for you to be able to move forward, this is what you need to do. You need to take this time to really heal. Yes, yeah, see, and the healing will allow you to open your heart again. Okay, um, and this could very well be in a relationship, but it could be a business too. Okay politics you may have been done dirty whether this was a relationship or business someone may have done you dirty there might be I, I, I think for some of you Virgo you find it really hard to trust people and this is why you just want to lead the way yourself and not rely on anyone else because you don't trust anyone else it's kind of like well, what's the point they're just gonna they're just gonna um you know like betray me anyway 
you know, I did that once before and look what they did. You know, it's it, it, kind of like you've got this proof of this happening and you've got the scars to prove it. And in a sense, Virgo, kind of like having that attitude, it keeps those scars fresh and it keeps them from healing. Like you want those old wounds to be healed now. Okay. Um, and you do that as a bit of protection. Um, yeah. Completion. It's time for this to be done. It's time for it to be completed. This one also jumped out and I feel like this isn't doing the work that you need to do in order to fully complete this. You see how the, the um, puzzle, it, uh, the one last piece of the puzzle isn't in there yet. Um, and, and it's like you're sitting there going, oh, well, I've done all that. I don't need to do that. There's still a bit to go. And look, Virgo, it's not the whole lot. Okay, you don't have to go over the whole thing, but there's just a bit more to go. Okay, and you need to make sure you do that. Energy attachments. Yes, yes. Not letting this negative um, energy consume you anymore, right? Getting this flame of ascension to dissolve that, that golden light to dissolve these energy attachments. Because by keeping in that mode, it keeps you attached to the situation, okay? Um, this could be other people also sending that energy to you and keeping that those cords attached. So I would definitely do some look into some cord cutting or something along those lines heaps of stuff on youtube to do that um so that you can break free especially if there's people who have had control over you before um that that needs to be cut okay and it needs to be done and i feel like for you virgo you need to actually um start voicing um your uh, well it's more expressing yourself okay you need to start doing that more rather than bottling it up inside and hoping it goes away until you know it's kind of like keeping it quiet so that hopefully one day you won't feel it and it won't matter anymore but the thing is that that it feels like that energy needs to be released okay so anything else about energy attachments in a sense, we've got anything else? Okay, so I feel like um, that one flipped up too. Okay, so I do feel like that with this card here, um, you it's a matter of taking a step back and kind of putting yourself right at the beginning, okay? Um, because this this guy here I see as a master, okay? And he has this grasshopper on his finger. And he looks at the grasshopper with the grasshopper who is there to teach him. It's like he puts himself right back at the beginning of like, I have no knowledge. Um, this grasshopper is here to teach me type of thing. Um, so it's really making sure that you're evening the place playing field I feel okay um and really looking at what it is that you do want to grow here and making sure that you're actually vibrating out um sorry yeah it's like Okay, okay, because Virgo, these energy, energy attachments here continue to be attached because of the vibration that is being put out. Okay, if you're vibrating at a higher rate than what these are, um, there's no way for them to attach because these en energy is drawn to the same type of energy. So the only way that's going to attach is if it has the same energy to attach to. I hope that makes sense, okay? Virgo, celebrate your successes because I'm not saying you're starting at the beginning here. Even though this is a whole new um, beginning for you, this healing, um, that you have done work, 
okay, you have done work with it, um, so celebrate that work that you have done, just understand that there is a bit more to go, okay, so yeah, so, so make sure you can see how far you've actually come, okay, and see that maybe that journey wasn't as bad as what you thought it might be, okay, in an oracle, yeah, I feel like with this, some of you, oh, see, this is like the same kind of flame here to me. You've got this flame up here and this flame here and this person here is sitting here, right? As they, oh God, I'm not dealing with all that still, am I, <laughs> right? Um, but tap into this, okay? Tune into that Virgo because this will definitely help you along the way, along with Archangel Michael, okay? And it just feels like um, it will help to also balance things out for you, okay? Um, and it's going to help you to go in this direction a lot easier. Yep, see? Guidance, taking on board the guidance, when you tap into your inner self, when you connect with those angelic realms, when you call on Archangel Michael, right, and you get tap into this inner oracle, yeah, that's going to help you release these, okay, that's going to help you transmute any um, remaining residue of pain that you have. You know, it really is this sense of turning away from that. Oh, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Um, and so, yeah, kind of tapping into it to allow this guidance to come through, to allow these angelic, this angelic realm to come through, okay? Going into the nothingness, letting that transmute all that you do not need to carry, for some of you, Virgo, it could be that you are allowing these energy attachments to remain because there's a sense of wanting to punish whoever it is that caused this for you. Okay, but what is it's actually doing is holding you back. Okay, so just be aware of that, Virgo. Okay, I really hope this has helped you, Virgo. Please subscribe and share and like the video, comment if you feel the need, um, because we want to help as many people as possible, and together we can do that. Okay, Virgo, take care of yourselves. You've got this, okay? You can do it. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.